Now, back in April, we were joined on the show by an inspirational campaigner. She calls herself Bowel Babe. I love that description. 37-year-old mum, Deborah James, who is living with stage four bowel cancer. And then I started feeling really tired. Um, but again, I was just thinking that I was working really, really hard. Um, but actually, they're all the classic signs of bowel cancer. So blood loss, uh, change in bowel habits, um, weight loss, um, feeling tired. Um, and there's, for some people, they might get a lump. For some people, they might not get any of those, those symptoms. Well, watching that interview at home was mother of four, Tracy O'Keefe, who realised that she was, in fact, experiencing the same symptoms as Deborah and after seeing a specialist she was diagnosed with anal cancer and now eight months on Tracy has finished her treatment she joins me now with Deborah and Dr Hilary and how are you feeling great Fantastic. you're feeling okay yeah, you're feeling good yep. so you were just good. watching at home watching the telly as, yep. you, as you do just cleaning up the kitchen yep. and putting things away and I heard her just talking about her symptoms and I, I looked at her and and she didn't look like somebody that would have cancer as well. She does not. No, no I, I, I think that actually really hit home because I thought I've got all those symptoms too. Right, okay. And so you mm. went to the docs? Went back to the doctor and, and insisted this time on being referred. Right. And, and then I waited and I still hadn't heard anything. So then I actually decided to pay for it and go privately. Gosh, that's really sad well. that you had to do that. It really is. It should be better than that. It really should. But the symptoms, did you find that, you know, because you know what we're like about our bottoms and about all of that, yep. a bit embarrassed? I was, and I yep. apologised every time I went to the GP. I went in saying, I'm sorry, it's me again. I've still got this. Mm -hmm. And I've still got a wee bit of blood. I'm still pooing really strangely. Yep. Yep. It, was, it was a change in bowel habits sure. and different shape, frequency, everything. All the classic symptoms. Yeah, and, exactly. Um, the weight all, loss yeah. as well. It, and, but I, I did, like, Deborah think, oh, it's because I'm doing more yoga and, yeah, I'm, yeah. and I'm watching my eat. But actually, in my head, I thought, I'm not really... You knew. Yeah, the thing is, I think, we, I think yeah. there is some times that we, we know. Yeah. And Deborah, for you, this is a, this is a crusade. Oh. And you have been remarkable. I mean, every time we've had you on the show, we had you on the show recently, massive response. But this is why... This you is why we do write this. the books, this is why you do the blogs, you yeah. know, this is why you write the columns. It's yeah. all about this, it's all yeah. about Tracy. I said to Tracy, I'm not going to get emotional, but seeing Tracy today, kind of backstage, I was just like, this is why I, I spoke up about my thing, because you said to me, I don't look like I have cancer. Yeah, yeah. And I think I wanted to show if it can happen to me, it can happen to yeah. anyone. And yeah. then Tracy's another example. Exactly. But the whole thing, and I think what we can take from Tracy's story, is because you then went to the doctors, you were diagnosed at a slightly earlier stage when you... You still had, you, she still had to undergo loads and loads of treatment. Right. But the key thing is actually, actually your prognosis, correct me if I'm wrong, mm. is, is really positive, it isn't is really it? It is really positive because it, is, it, it was just slightly over four centimetres. Yep. Right? And um, so it is really positive. Yeah, and it is because of you, because if I'd waited <laughs> and I kept putting it off, then... Yeah, and that's the key thing. When story. something like bowel cancer, and I know we're all really embarrassed, yeah. aren't we? We're all really you embarrassed bet, yeah. to talk yeah. about poo. I know. <laughs> it's, no, it's, no, really, no. it's silly, isn't it? So daft. Uh, but the reality is, that actually, if we just go to our doctors and we talk really bluntly about the symptoms that we're having, actually, we can save lives. Um, and it's amazing, actually, when, when somebody's brave enough, and it is brave, you have to kind of just go there, and nobody has to be embarrassed about things. Just go and say it as it is. Say exactly. it's like blood. So we've talked about this before. Yep. And we'll keep on talking about it as often yeah. as we can, yeah. but it's don't die of embarrassment, no, for goodness sake. Totally, such an important message. And I have to say that these two ladies are extraordinary. Aren't they? Talk about the epitome of positive attitude. They have got it, it's, you know, in, in shed loads, and I really admire them so much for the way they're coping with this. Mm. Um, yeah, the embarrassment thing is, let me just say, first of all, that doctors treat every part of the body the same. So, so whether it, you go in with a, an eye problem or a shoulder problem or yeah. a bowel problem, it doesn't mean anything to us. It's part of our job. So please don't feel embarrassed in front of the doctor. I know that patients feel it, feel it difficult to talk about wind and bloating and bowels and poo, yeah. but actually it's really important. They're just bodily functions like anything else. And it's really important you say, this is how it is, what, what yeah. can you do for me? And, and, and get it sorted. And the sooner you know, the better. The absolutely, sooner the better. Now, totally. The symptoms are... Well, the, 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 we what talked about change of bowel habits, probably right. right up there at the top, the change yeah, in the yeah. bowel. So what's not normal for you? So oh. you? Have you become more constipated? Are you developing diarrhea? And has it been going on for more than three sure. weeks? Uh, and if it's been going on for more than three, it's time to go and get something done. A feeling of incomplete emptying sometimes. You've, you've been, but you think you know, okay. need to go again. That, that's a little bit suspicious as well. Then any kind of blood uh, mixed with the motion, 
I say mixed with rather than on the surface because okay. a lot of people get fresh red blood on the surface due to hemorrhoids, but you can never assume that. A lot of people have died assuming that assuming fresh red change. blood is due to hemorrhoids. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So yeah. blood or rectal yeah, yeah. bleeding of any kind. Yeah. Abdominal discomfort, whether it's uh, just bloating or cramps, you know, and if it's been going for some time, yeah. don't assume it's IBS or anything else. Sure. Go and get it checked. Okay. And then, of course, this feeling of tiredness, which yeah. you really had. Really tired. Had Unexplained that, tiredness. Unexplained, yes, for no reason. You try to explain it away, don't you, Beck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unexplained tiredness. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and unexplained weight loss. And Those right. are the common symptoms, but anything out of the ordinary that's been going on for some time, yeah. go and get, get it checked. Get it checked. And it's, it's, worth, and it's worth banging the table as well. Absolutely. It's a real shame that Tracy had to, to, to do that, but it saved your life watching the show and then also getting the treatment. It has, hopefully. Thank and you're feeling good? I feel great. And yourself? Yeah, because you look, you look terrific. I know, I feel great. <laughs> and uh, I'm just really lucky I didn't have any side effects because right. everyone's different as well with the treatment. Of course. But I've been so lucky. And no, it's great. So blessed. It really is. Thanks. And she, Yeah, exactly. I, th I think, I think I there's, a, there's definitely a special bond there. That's, yeah, that's for sure. Special. And the more people talk about it, the better. You look like Marcia Cross, who was in Desperate Housewives. She had anal cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's been talking about it. She's been, you know, sort of posting pictures and saying, you know, I, I might have lost my hair and all of that. And she's been doing this. She is. Um, you'll remember her from, from Desperate yeah. Housewives. Very glamorous, gorgeous woman. But I love the fact that she just said, I've got anal cancer, mm. there you are, yeah. that's what's happening, you know. And it is it's... the word anal. I know, like, it's I know, hot. I know, it's I know, just, I know. People are so embarrassed about it's it. Silly. And the old, older ladies, and, and when I was getting treatment, they, they say they've got bowel cancer, because that, that's yeah. become more acceptable oh, than yeah. anal. Yeah. But it's that's nothing to be so embarrassed about, and it will save your life. It's more exactly. embarrassing having to undergo all the treatment that I have to undergo yeah. to try to save my life and prolong it, rather than actually have, if I'd gone to the doctors and just been really blunt about my symptoms, my Earlier on, exactly. they're just words. Any part of the body can develop cancer. They're just words, you know. So know. whether it's colorectal or bowel, doesn't yeah. matter. Got to well, you're yeah. so helping. You really oh, are. You're, you're, yeah. you're yeah. amazing, yeah. Deborah. You, you really are. And I'm so glad everything's all right. Yeah. And yeah. Fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank just keep you. doing what you're doing.